Mountains. From the tip of the south, feasting all the way to the tip of the north. World-class salmon smokers, fishing lobster in the middle of December. Discovering snow crab in the north. This is dinner time, that's what I'm talking about. And learning how to cook with all this abundance. It is my duty to bring you on a seafood and culinary adventure oh my God. you may have only dreamt about until now. I'm Michael Ann Rowe. This is gonna look cute. Not your average foodie. The same resemblance. <laughs> I'm a New Yorker, a writer, a restaurateur. It's a tough job, but somebody's gonna do it. I don't just eat food. I travel the world to boldly go where no foodie has gone before. Yeah, I knew this was gonna be good. Are you coming for the ride? This is Off the Beaten Palace. Our second day was here, where the Rossmount Inn awaits your soul and your palate. In a three-story manor that is part of an 87-acre estate between land and sea is where Chef Chris Arany taught me a little bit about his dedication to serving local and seasonal dishes. Their menu constantly changes with market-fresh seafood, and today, I'm being fed giant scallops from the Bay of Fundy. And I feel lucky. We're gonna do the most simple dish and fastest dish mm -hmm. for scallops. The first thing we do is we, we take off, it's a piece of the mussel here. And okay. we, we just rip that off. You can see it's very, very tough. Yeah, you don't wanna uh, eat it's, that. No, you don't wanna eat that, so we clean them off. Starting with a razor sharp knife, Chris Arany creates a simple yet decadent scallop carpaccio. And then begins the dance of delicate flavors. A little citrus oil. Citrus oil is made with lemon peel or orange peel and mm -hmm. then we steep it in an oil and let it sit there for a few days. He adds blanched asparagus vinaigrette. It's basically a one to three ratio of oil to uh, vinegar. This is a purslane. Purslane is not a distinctive flavor. It just adds a little bit of green and a bit of freshness. A little bit of uh, fresh sherbet has a bit of uh, an aniseed flavor. Slivers of radish for a hint of heat. A pinch of black sea salt. It's basically a salt which doesn't have all its minerals and components washed out, so it, there's a bit of black in there. And lastly, if you like, a final zesting of lemon. How easy was that? <laughs> you gotta love a chef that's not only great in the kitchen. That's the kind of chef I like. Yeah, baby. That's the real naked chef. But a chef with a great sense of humor.